But first, the latest on our top story, confusion and controversy on immigration. A senior Trump administration official tells CBS News that as of last night, over 500 children in custody of Customs and Border Protection were reunited with their parents, but hundreds more remain in the government's custody. At the White House Friday, the president hosted parents of Americans who were killed by illegal immigrants. These are the American citizens permanently separated from their loved ones. They're not separated for a day or two days. They are permanently separated because they were killed by criminal illegal aliens. Earlier on Friday, the president apparently upended Republican efforts to pass an immigration bill. Mr. Trump tweeted, quote, Republicans should stop wasting their time on immigration until after we elect more senators and congressmen and women in November. This week, President Trump issued an executive order reversing his administration's policy of separating migrant children from their parents when they attempt to enter the U.S. illegally. The decision came after a huge public outcry. In its cover story this week, Time magazine called the debate over the policy nothing less than a referendum on core American values. We're joined by the story's author, Time editor-at-large, Carl Vick. Carl Good morning. Good morning. Carl, the president's stance on immigration has been very public. It's been a tenant of his campaign and his presidency. How did zero tolerance turn into this massive public crisis? There seemed to be two things going on with the policy, which the, the, which the administration was sort of slow to reveal and to own. Um, there, there was a surge, uh, sort of a seasonal surge in, in crossings and attempted crossings. And I think they wanted to crack down on that. Um, zero tolerance meant everybody gets prosecuted. It also meant they're going to take kids away, which is something that the U.S. hadn't done before. Um, so I think they were really trying to send a signal like, you come to America, you're going to lose your children. Mm -hmm. um, pretty brutal. Uh, the other thing I think they were trying to do is, it, when Trump first acknowledged this policy, it was he, he, he blamed it on the Democrats. He said, it's this horrible policy. I wish the Democrats would do something. So he seemed to be wanting to force a decision, um, a vote, basically trying to get Congress to address immigration so that he could, he could make a play to get his wall, which has been, you know, he, he ran on all this and we're going to build this big, beautiful wall, hasn't been able to get it through Congress. So at this point, I mean, you have the president now uh, backtracking essentially on, on, on the separation of families, but at the same time going forward and making a play about, about uh, illegal immigration yesterday in which he was saying illegal immigrants, you know, cause crime in the country. He's trying, is he, it looks like he's trying to make this an issue going into the fall election. And, and if so, can he make it a successful one, do you well, think? It's, it's really not playing his way so far, is it? I mean, this is, this has been his issue, and now it's become, a, I think, an issue that the Democrats see is going to cut their way in the fall, in, in, in the midterms. It's, you know, they're calling it, well, nobody's calling it just Katrina, but it's like, it's, it's his biggest um, black eye so far in, and it's on his core issue. Yeah. It has been referenced as his version of Katrina. You mentioned the core issue. He seldom goes against his base, yet with at least his executive order, with his order to not have the separations, it, it did go against his base. Does that even have an impact? He kept his base. Uh, you know, uh, you could still hear people and, and radio talk show hosts parroting his talking points, um, but he was losing everybody else. And we're going to be coming out of primary season. The fall elections will be general the elections and you need the independents and and Republican women and people who are horrified by this um, to, to, to be, you know, able to vote for you. <laughs> In the meantime, there's still enormous confusion at the border. I mean, how close do you think is is this issue being to uh, at least to settle down somewhat? That's a very good question. I think as long as since it's become a story of, of individuals and children mm -hmm. and 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 the, the, the suffering of of, you know, um, these kids, as long as you have a, a one or two kids, or right now we're still talking about thousands yeah. who are not with their parents, it's going to be, people are going to be covering it. You hope, but we do lose focus. We were talking about the Flint water crisis in the first hour, and people have lost focus, and that involves yeah. children as well. That's a good question. Carl Vick, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Pleasure.